Lisa Salzer of Lulu Frost to talk about vintage, mm -hmm. antique, and everything in museum. The concept of the collection is a little bit Native American meets kind of classic costume jewelry because I'm obsessed with Navajo jewelry. I just love these other cultures. And we used a lot of bone and suede in the collection and porcupine quills, turquoise. This is a is great it, kind of these, pipe necklace. Are these bo bone? It's bone, yeah. And it's, you know, based on that classic kind of breast pipe plate thing that you oh, see. In the, the Native Chiefs Americans, wearing. yep. Yeah, and then we did like really kind of simple styles with the suede and, great. and bone and just easy things. This group we use vintage buffalo nickels, so these are really cool. We have bracelets and necklaces and earrings in the That's collection. Great. I was reading a little bit uh, that your grandmother was a big vintage yeah, jewelry. My grandma, yeah, her name was Elizabeth Frost. So that's where the name comes for the company, and she was in the estate jewelry business for a long time. So I kind of grew up around Deco and Victoria, and you know, fine jewelry at the store in New Hope, Pennsylvania, where she worked for 40 years. And my mom is our buyer, actually. My mom now, who you know, that was her mother, right. Elizabeth. She buys all the vintage stuff for us. It's called the 100 Year Necklace, and each piece has items from 1860 through 1960. So they're all different, but it's all this like history of costume jewelry in one piece. This is, uh, these are Victorian from 1860, so there's your oldest piece right there. Those are little buckles that were used, it's cut steel, and they would have little uh, velvet ribbons through them. Um, this is also a really old piece, it's French enameled with some opals and little turquoises, and that's probably 1890 or so. Mm -hmm. This is also Victorian, late 1800s, maybe early 1900s. Victorian black onyx. Mm -hmm. Onyx set in gold, really great. And then, you know, you have your kind of deco elements a little bit later, the 30s, and then going into the 60s with kind of these great costume jewelry pieces. Just to make it modern, we added in fool's gold, and that's sort of the unifying thing in every piece. We always have a little bit of something new. And we always update our plaza numbers. I saw them and I said, where are these from? The plaza, and I, I bought them all. So I bought 2,500 of them. They sold out within a couple months at Barney's, and we've replicated them. So for years now, they've been a bestseller for us. What we did is we created them in 18 karat gold with diamonds. And you can see my number three. This is my lucky number. I'm born on November 3rd, so <laughs> Good. always wearing my 11-3. The three has three diamonds. The ones have one. I mean, wow. I just have thousands of amazing vintage pieces. Wow. This is all um, materials for the 100-year necklace. Right. That I was showing Bake you. Bakelite Victorian. Yeah, it has that kind of time span in there. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah.